When you receive your SRT 5498, you will receive in the box the digital video recorder itself, a user's manual, a remote control and batteries, a set of AV leads, and a loop cable lead. To set up your SRT5498, if you first take your aerial cable from the wall and plug that into the back of the box, you can then take your AV leads, or in this case we're actually going to connect it via HDMI. So you can then take your HDMI lead and plug that into the back of the box. and plug that into the corresponding HDMI on your TV. The other very important cable that comes with the box is the loop out cable. You need to connect that from the loop out just under the aerial connection and plug that into the loop in just on the top there. Without that your SRT5498 will not record properly. You need to put the loop cable in so that both tuners are working. Now that you've done that, you can plug the power cable into power on the wall, turn it on and turn your TV on and we'll go through the installation process from there. The setup of your SRT5498. The first screen you'll see once you've connected the box to your TV is the first installation screen. On this screen you see the TV aspect ratio. Here you can select between 16x9 and 4x3. This will depend on what type of television you have. If you have a widescreen TV, select 16x9. If you have a more an older square type format TV, select 4x3. In this case, we're connecting to a 16x9 TV. Aspect ratio conversions, leave that set to auto. That's the best way to have it. So depending on what's being broadcast, um, the box will automatically adjust for the correct aspect ratio. Select your region, depending on what region that you might be in. We're in Victoria, so we'll select Victoria. And we are currently in daylight savings um, time, so we'll select that to enable. Once you've selected these parameters, press the OK button to begin the automatic search. A list of frequencies will come up, and the amount of programs or channels that are scanned in will be listed on the right hand side. So we see the first one is at 177.5 MHz. This is channel 7's frequency, and they have six channels. And the rest will follow. Once the auto scan is complete, you'll have a full list of channels available in your area. You can view the channel list by selecting channel list in the live TV uh, submenu, and this will give you a full list of channels that you have available. Scrolling through, gives you the full list and you, to select the channel that you want to watch press the OK button. Selecting the EPG button will give you an electronic program guide for that particular channel that you have selected. If you want to change channel to view the guide for another channel you can do this by using the up and down arrow or the channel up and down button. To load the EPG for each channel, if you haven't been there since the scan, press the OK button. This will show you a preview in the top left hand corner of the screen of what's currently playing and then a full list of programs for the next seven days will load in the right hand side column. You can scroll down to the programs that are to be uh, viewed later on by using the down arrow and select that program by pressing the OK button to view extended EPG information. To record a particular program, you can press the red record button. This will place a red dot next to that program, notifying you that it's preset to record when it plays. For further functions on this remote control, you can on this recording, you can press a record button again and activate different mode sequences for this recording. The options are once, daily, weekly, weekend. 
you can set an advanced start and end time, so it will start a certain amount of time prior to the scheduled program start time, and you can do this in one minute increments, and you can also delay the end or the time that the recording is due to finish, um, so you don't miss the end of it should it run over. Once you've set this, you can press OK to save. You can also set a series record by pressing the SREC button on the remote control. Pressing this will set a red dot with an S on it next to the program name, confirming that it's a series record. A series record will then look for any other programs due to be played on that channel in the future with the same title. So you don't have to set a recording for that program every time it's to be played. The SRT5498 is a twin tuner HD recorder which allows you to record two programs simultaneously while watching a third program from either of those two networks. So for example here we're on channel 70, 7 digital, we press the red record button to start recording of this program. The default record time is two hours and that will be listed on the top right hand corner of the screen. You can now change to any other channel, so we'll now go to GEM, which is on the part of the 9 network, and we can press the record button here again and that will begin recording this program. Again the default record time is two hours. If you wish to change the default record duration, you press the red record button again and it will give you a list here. You can select the duration and change that using the left and right arrows or you can set it to record until the current program finishes. It takes the EPG data for the current program being displayed and it will record till the end. Or you can then select to record the, the next show that is due to show after this one and that will record until that program is finished. Or you can simply leave the duration as it was and press the OK button. You can now view channels from either of those two networks that you are recording from. So we still have access to Go, 9, 72, 78, or channel 74. To stop any of these recorded programs that you are recording, press the stop button. You will be prompted with the list to, to, to choose which program you wish to record. Using the up and down arrows you can highlight the program you wish to stop recording. Once you've highlighted the program, press the OK button and that program will stop recording. Once you've recorded programs on your SRT5498, to view these recorded programs, press the DVR button on the remote control. Once you press this button, you'll have a list of all recorded programs on your hard drive. Using the up and down arrows, you can select the program that you have recorded. To view this program, press the OK button. This will begin a preview in the top right hand corner of the screen. To continue viewing this program in full screen, press the OK button again. Once you're in playback, you can then use the skip forward button to skip forward 30 seconds within the program or the fast forward to search through the program. To stop this recorded program playing, simply press the stop button and you'll be returned back to the DVR recorded program list. also incorporates an auto bookmarking feature for recorded programs that have been previously viewed. This means if you've been watching a program and you were half an hour into it and you stopped watching that program for any reason and then you came back a day later to continue watching from there, it will automatically begin from the last viewed position. So for example, this program, the view we were watching previously, if we just select that program now, It'll preview and then once we start it playing, it'll go back to 9 minutes and 8 seconds, which is where we were when we stopped watching this program. The SRT5498 also incorporates a time shift feature. Time shift is a feature that allows you to pause, fast forward or rewind a live program that you may have been watching. So if we're watching this program now and we're interrupted by the phone ringing or something like that, we can simply press the pause button and this will pause this program at this point and continue recording it as we go. So now we come back after 10 seconds of pausing, we can press the play button and resume watching this program from the point that where we paused it. If we wanted to skip forward 
to come back to the live point of view. So if we want to go 10 seconds ahead, we can use the skip button and that will skip us directly to the point which is live. If you want to go back, you can press the skip button again, go back to the beginning or use the fast forward or rewind buttons to search through the amount of time that we've been time shifting. To resume playback, press the play button. SFT5498 also supports subtitles, so any program that is uh, captioned, you can display these subtitles by pressing the sub button on the remote control and selecting English, which is where what we'll always have. Once this is selected, subtitles will be displayed on screen. You can also, once you're recording this program, you can also view the subtitles once you're playing them back. So again, press the DVR button to access the recorded file list, select the program, Press the OK button again to watch full, full screen. And the subtitles will be displayed during playback.